Welcome back to my bathroom. For today, it's Timu's most ridiculous items. We'll unbox all this junk together and rate it one through 10. Also, I've got a list from Reddit of some of the most ridiculous things, ridiculous things we do as humans. We're gonna read those together, but don't forget I am dyslexic. That should be fun. Before we get into this super high quality program, do your tithing. Subscribe, click the buttons, all that jazz. It helps me to continue to make these whatever these are in this bathroom. It's my very own home studio. Also in the description box is my other YouTube channel. It's hair tutorials if that's something you're into. Nobody cares, let's get started. First up, we have cats for your dogs. Cat flip flops. You can score these for $6. I'm gonna show you these. But if anybody screenshots this picture of my dogs and sells these feet pics, do the right thing and PayPal your girl a dollar. Can you see that? Those are surprisingly comfortable. I'm gonna give them a nine. Troll earrings. These were a dollar. Worth it. Ladies, if you're single, looking to attract a solid man. This puts off the, hey, I'm kinda silly vibe. Well, it could be silly or psychopath. These are a 10. Now let's get to some of these. These are from Reddit. I don't know what the subreddit was called, but it was basically ridiculous. Ridiculous. Ridiculous things we do as human beings. <laughs> Clapping to show approval or happiness. Clapping is weird. Just slapping your hands together. This hits home to me because I was at an award ceremony yesterday. Nothing crazy is Boy Scouts, okay? I could do a whole segment on Boy Scouts, but we won't get into that. And I was reading the room as I always do, sitting in the back and just watching people. They'd say the name and it'd be like this. Some people clap like this, some people do this, some were doing this shit, the Boy Scout clap, loud clap, then we've got the yodelers. <laughs> be your silly ass kid at the front. I do the thing where I just slap on my leg, where it makes a noise. It's half ass effort, okay? I'm just not into it. It's weird to me to just like do that. Honestly, just being a human is kind of ridiculous. I'm gonna take my silly meat suit and slap my digits together. That makes a noise. <laughs> patterns are really hard. When people do clap patterns like, or even a simple one like, when you're at a hockey game or whatever and everyone's doing a consistent clapping pattern, I'm always the one that's in the middle. If the clapping pattern is like this, mine's like this. I just don't get it. Clapping just is weird. This is a sticker. I'll have one. <laughs> I'll have one order of crab raccoons. Look at the raccoon. Crab raccoons. Raccoons? Hell, I don't know. I'm gonna start calling them crab raccoons. Oh, that sounds good, because I'm hungry too. I can't eat right now, because my tooth came out again. You wanna see it? There's my tooth. I have a Kentucky smile. I'm waiting on my dentist to call me back so I can eat again. I've been drinking soup. It's a long story, but I ate one of those turkey legs, you know, that you her, and um, my tooth came out. Anyway, crab raccoon sounds so <laughs> damn good. <laughs> 10 out of 10. Oh, did I tell you that I don't need any of this junk, so this will be on my website for a dollar free shipping. We can do mystery boxes, I'll see how it goes. Two dollars for the crab raccoons. For five dollars, you can get this poster. Close your eyes. It looks better than the listing. We have Bigfoot with his pet raccoon. Say less. That is a 10 out of 10 and it's on canvas? I was actually watching that Bigfoot show yesterday. It came on, well first I was watching Sister Wives, which is really, really, really weird. I don't understand that. It was obviously an old episode because now it showed a preview. They're all broken up. Well, no shit. All right, no shit you're broken up. Look at this man. How did he get not one, not two, not three, but four women to marry him with that permed head? I mean, he's not a bad looking guy from far away, but he's got a little bit of an attitude. Listen, if you're gonna have an attitude, those women, they have patience. To marry a man that also wants to marry several other women, but at least he's being honest about it, okay? That's what I was trying to tell myself. At least he's self-aware enough to know, listen, I'm not good enough or faithful enough to just stay with one woman for the rest of my life, so I might as well be in an open relationship with three other, four other women at the same time so I can openly meet all my needs while the rest of the women suffer because I am selfish. And then after I got into that, I was watching a Bigfoot show and guess what? They spent 30 minutes on an episode to find what? Can you guess? Nothing. All this technology and I have yet to see a photo of this thing. 
All right, 10 out of 10. Do we say that for this poster? Number two for ridiculous things we do as humans from Reddit. Someone said handshakes, which also could be lumped in with clapping. That is just as weird. Jeremy, gross. We should do what the Asian people do and bow our heads. Nice to see you. Nice to meet you. F off. See you next time. Pepper Spray 24 says paying to park at work, school, and hospitals. Imagine this. I'm in labor. I'm gonna piss out another human. Rush, rush. And I'm gonna drive myself to the hospital because here in America, the ambulance ride is about $10,000. So I'm gonna drive myself. Drive, drive, get to the hospital. Oh, it is coming. I am pissing water. My water broke on my leg, but wait, but wait. Let me insert some coins in this machine so my car doesn't get towed, so I have a way to get the baby back home. The worst is work. I've never had a job where I had to pay to park at work, but if you have to pay to park at work, that's ridiculous. We need to change.org that for you. That's like paying to drink their coffee at work. Bitch, no, the coffee is included. I'm already here without consent. I do not want to be working. Do not make me pay for coffee. I used to teach at this beauty school and they would make me pay to wear jeans on Fridays. You're gonna make me pay to wear an article of clothing just because it's a Friday. How about you pay me $2 to wear jeans? How about you just pay me a little bit more to show up at this dumpster fire? Moving on. This is a pouch for your, guess what? Your Stanley cup, your car muffler, drinking apparatus, Tito's disguiser. I don't have a Stanley. Pretend my bottle of Tresemme is a Stanley. It goes like this. And it's got a little pocket for your dad's credit card, your lipstick, earphones. It's that nice neoprene. Is it neoprene? It's that nice neo neoprene material. Honestly, I kind of like this because you're already doing something ridiculous. You already got a cup about this big. Why not just add more junk to it? Get you one of these. These come in a lot of different colors. Pink, blue, green, purple, black, and white. I just made that up. I don't really remember. But there was a lot of shades, a lot of varieties. If you're one of those kind of gals. You know what? I have never seen a man carrying a Stanley Cup now that I think about it. Not even a gay man. Let me know if you got one. Is there any man watching this? I don't think so. But if you are, let me know. If you're here, present for class, raise your hand. Um, this is $3. On the ridiculous level, it's a 20 out of 10. Here we have a miniature Stanley. $5 for this. If you're on the fence about getting a Stanley but don't want to commit the $50, here you go. This is for you. Look at me, you peasant. I've got a Stanley cup. That means I'm better than you. I've got a green one, pink one, orange one, blue one, a white one. And bitch, you've got none. I've got a Stanley cup. I'm gonna break my wrist so everybody sees that I drink out of a car. 10 out of 10 for this. Uh, ridiculous things people do on Reddit. Parking ad 3922 says it's ridiculous that people are paid to play sports. I can see the ridiculousness behind that, but I think we're all just jealous. Wouldn't you rather kick a soccer ball around and make a million dollars instead of go to your desk job nine to five? Tippy tapping on a computer, answering phone calls, dealing with Janet's lazy ass in the cubicle to the right? Honey, I'll kick a soccer ball around for $50,000, okay? You're paying me to kick a soccer ball? I am jealous that some people are talented. $3 for these. These are special, oh, very thin. The hands, there's magnets. So then your partner will also get a pair and you can do that. The magnet feature is really cool. If you're one of those, you know, you get your boyfriend a pair or girlfriend, whatever. I don't look, I don't care what you're doing. Okay, just pay your taxes and be quiet. Or do we even need to pay taxes? I don't know. I mean, I'm going to because I'm scared I'm gonna get in trouble, but I don't understand it. If you match with your significant other, okay, is that the thing to say? Is that okay with everybody? You do that. I used to date this guy who wanted to match clothes all the time and I thought that was really weird. Are you convincing me to convince you that we like each other more than we do? Because I think we don't. We can coordinate black outfits. You wear a black shirt, I'll wear a black shirt, but I'm not gonna be coordinating a pastel color with you. So other people know that we're together, but get away. Please scoot back 10 feet. We got a stage five clinger who wants to coordinate clothes. All seriousness. When I see other couples matching, I do think it's cute. I think it's sweet, but then I kind of look at the woman and then I look at the man. And then I try to decide which one put the other one up to that. Usually it's the woman. Anyway, the socks are ridiculous. They're gonna work. They're my new bowling socks. Oh, 
I've got good news. As you know, my current hyperfixation is still eggs, but it's bowling, and I finally got a new high score. Ask me what it is, come on. Louder. It's a 163, and then I went back, because I thought, oh, we can duplicate this. Once you do something once, you can do it twice, three times, whatever. I went back, and I got a 54. Giant playing cards, $5, head to card ratio. These are great if you're a magician. Magician for the nursing home, doing some magic tricks. Oh, that'd be so cool too. I always wanted to go to clown school, but you know, it's hard to get into clown school. It, it's actually hard. Probably easier to be an electrician than it is to be a clown. I don't understand that. Maybe in my next lifetime, I'll get to do that. But I always thought a magician was cool too. But I've got shaky hands, so clown school, next best thing. I can make a balloon animal. I got into that a couple years ago. Balloon animals, so I actually can make a dragon a cat, a dog, a fish, and a hat. These are a 10 out of 10. Very kind of ridiculous, but not really. I mean, my grandma would like these. Before we move on, let's talk about this week's tea bag. We have Bigelow, a really mediocre brand of tea. Earl Grey black tea. This is a solid eight out of 10. I love black tea with a little bit of lavender and some almond milk froth on top. I don't have any of that fancy stuff today. We're in the damn bathroom. Also this mug, $6 from Timu. This is a solid 20 out of 10. I bought another one so it could go on my website for a dollar free shipping. So someone else could enjoy the he brews it cup with me. Oh, also matcha bubble tea, milk tea, matcha flavor. I found this at Rocket Fizz, the candy store. It's got the tapioca balls in it. Ugh. I would give this a one. We have two shirts here. The first one, this is the Costco Kirkland Signature Hot Dog from the food court. I've got that dog in me. And they're beef hot dogs, full beef. Print on this, I mean, it could be better. It's a little foggy, it's a vinyl sticker. But the material of the shirt is nice. This is a men's small, they didn't make this for women. Let's sue them, discrimination. That is a 20 out of 10. Ah! This is a Sasquatch with a cowboy hat riding the Loch Ness Monster. Great gift for conspiracy theorists. You can't beat that. Back to ridiculous sayings people do on Reddit. This guy says he bites his toenails. Other people agree that they also bite their toenails. Um, how do you bite your toenails? I can't even get my foot that far because if I did, trust me, you know I wouldn't be on this platform. I'd be doing other stuff. But here I am in the bathroom making YouTube videos in my 30s, so. Another good one, Maddie, 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 says, not me, but my flatmate. He pisses in empty containers in his bedroom. Tupperware, plastic cups, bottles, glasses. Then he can't be bothered emptying them, so he just leaves them lying around in his room. I had a roommate that did that. When I bought that spooky house, the haunted house, I was broke, so I rented out all the rooms, you know? Cause that's the thing to do. Get people from Craigslist to live in your house with you. And I had one roommate, to her credit, lived in the spookiest room in the house. And she went to jail one day and I didn't know. She had a little rat ass dog. She hadn't been to the house in three days. So I thought maybe she found a fling she liked better but left her puny ass dog here. So I went to do a wellness check on the puny dog. I opened the door and knock over a bunch of cups. Smells like pissing here. But I assumed it's because the little rat dog had been left alone for three days. Which I would have checked on it earlier, but it's against like the rules. You can't be going through your roommate's stuff when you're their landlord. And then I investigate further and see that, oh no, that's not dog piss. She is pissing in McDonald's cups all over the room. Cause the bathroom's downstairs. Also to give her a little bit of credit, she was extremely nice. And anyone who can live with me deserves a trophy. I'm not easy to live with. I have OCD about cleanliness and orders of things. So she may not have wanted to share a bathroom with me because of my quirkiness. Anyway, peeing in cups is ridiculous. For $6, you can get this knitted hat for your dog. This looks really nice on the doctor. Perfect for the outdoors when it gets cold. I'd give it a 10. What do you think? <laughs> A bag of mini trolls. $3 and you get five. Perfect. They sent me two packs of these, so I'm gonna keep one and give one to you. You ever play bingo? Kentucky bingo! The ladies, gentlemen, people, hims, thems, theys, and yous will set out tokens. They'll have their bingo bag. It's usually quilted with all kinds of daubers, dabbers. They've got a spread of lucky tokens. Trolls, rocks, sage sticks, a statue of the Buddha, porcelain Jesus Christ figurine. 
It's kind of like wearing lucky socks or lucky underwear. You ever do that? I never got into that, but I'm gonna try because my bowling game is suffering. Kissing on the bowling ball didn't do much. Thinking if I start bringing my own spread, we'll do nachos, treasure trolls, and maybe I'll bring this cup with me and I'll have my own lucky spread at the bowling alley. 10 out of 10. We have a kitchen towel. When in doubt, pull it out. Amen. This is actually a nice kitchen towel. It's kind of that microfiber-ish, one of those towels that's not really gonna absorb liquid. Nothing beats a paper towel. Try wiping up a gallon of water with this. Beautiful words of wisdom, a little friendly reminder, 20 out of 10. We have a birthday card, 20 out of 10 for this. Lastly, I couldn't help myself, we got a costume. It's the McDonald's Grimace. You can get this for $24. What do you think? That is a costume. That wraps up our ridiculous Timu haul. Most of it. There's still some stuff we didn't get to and some stuff coming in the mail. So maybe we'll do another round or maybe not. Thanks for joining me here in the bathroom for that and for fun little blurbs from Reddit. I do enjoy that. Don't forget to be kind, be kind to yourself, be kind to others, drive slow and think less. We think too much about what people think about us. How ridiculous is that? We're thinking about what other people are thinking about us, about what we're gonna eat, what we're gonna wear, what we're gonna say, what we're gonna do in two years, bitch. I don't even know what I'm gonna do right now. Well, right now I'm gonna go to the dentist and get my tooth fixed, okay? That's what we do now, but we gotta stop projecting in the future so much. Who cares? Who really gives a rat's ass? Quit thinking. Go take a walk. Look at flowers and pollen and stuff. It's pollen season here. Look at that stuff. Enjoy the moment. Just don't think about anything. We can't do much, but we can't pick and choose our thoughts. We can pick and choose what goes up in here. I mean, sometimes thoughts will just come in and they'll be weird. And if you're like me, they'll be, um, what are those things called? Impulsive thoughts. Like put your hand in the blender. No, bitch, no. I'm not going to put my hand in the blender. They always come to me when I'm cooking. Slice your finger off while you're dicing tomatoes. What? No, I'm not going to do that to myself. But anyway, I have intrusive thoughts. I don't know if that's normal. I feel like I think that's normal for some people. Let me know. But they come, thoughts come and go. Good ones, bad ones. It's like traffic. The cars are ever changing. Sometimes you get a Porsche flying by. Oh, I look so pretty today. And then sometimes you'll get a Geo Metro. I look so bad right now. Follow the Porsche thoughts, follow the good thoughts. We don't need Geo Metros. Focus on the good. Drop the bad. Be here now. I drive slow. Did I say that? I can't wait to see you next week. I don't know what we're doing. You know, I'm not really good at making plans, but whatever we're doing, I'm going to see you here next week, Sunday in this bathroom. So I will see you next time for something cool. Something cool. It is what it is and it is not great. I believe in divorce. Am I a maximalist? Just put eggs and witchcraft on there and it will grow with their hands. Okay. Well, is it a hobby or is it a hyper fixation? Homo sapiens. Junk. Mammals. The orange feline. Shh. I can put these trolls in my other troll.